I had the honor and privilege of caring for veterans at my local VA hospital for over 25 years. I remember veterans expressing to me their challenges with anxiety, pain, sleep, and PTSD symptoms, and not having physical and mental health results. I am Linda Cassell, and since then, I have researched holistic interventions to discover an alternative therapy. I found a study on mind-body medicine, promoting resilience through uh, stress reduction using the relaxation response. Are you ready for a detailed strategy and step-by-step -step whole health individualized program for your physical and mental health transformation? Then welcome to the Integrative Holistic Healing IHH for Veteran Program. This training teaches relaxation response as an essential self-management skill for resiliency. Research demonstrates that it is as predictable as medication and immediately reversing the stress-induced fight or flight response. At that time, I decided to create the IHH for Veteran program to assist veterans in physical and mental pain and all the veterans I have served in my nursing career. Every day, I'm excited uh, to educate and contribute to veterans and their families about the IHH for Veteran program. My professional achievements and experience provide insight into how to influence and improve the future of veterans' physical and mental health with integrity and respect. And that is what I want for you. The issue of veteran suicide in the United States is a serious concern. Here are some statistics based on data available at my last update. One, the rate of veteran suicide according to the uh, latest data from the United States Department of Veteran Affairs, an average of 17.2 veterans die by suicide every day in the United States. In comparison to the general public, veterans accounted for about 7.9% of all deaths by suicide among U.S. adults in 2019. Despite making up only about 7% of the total U.S. adult population, certain groups of veterans are at higher risk, including those uh, with a history of mental health issues like PTSD and depression, substance abuse, uh, traumatic brain injury, and those experiencing challenges in transitioning from military to civilian life. While male, male veterans account for the majority of veteran suicides, the rate of suicides among female veterans is significantly higher compared to the rate among female non-veterans. Access to mental health services is uh, crucial. The VA offers a range of mental health services, but challenges such as stigma, lack of awareness, and difficulty accessing care can prevent veterans from seeking help. The VA and various uh, veteran organizations have been actively working to address this issue through suicide prevention programs, crisis hotlines, and community reach out efforts. It's important to note that the statistics and efforts to address veteran suicide continues to evolve. Suppose you or someone you know is a veteran in crisis. In that case, seek help immediately through resources like the Veterans Crisis Line at 1-800-273-8255 and press one. You can also contact your nearest VA facility or the National Mental Health Crisis Line at 988 is essential. I have discovered that physical and mental health transformation is only possible with a whole health framework. I created the IHH for Veteran program, which focuses on what matters the most to us. It empowers veterans through mindful awareness and self-care, recognizing the fundamental importance of healthy nutrition, sleep, relationships, uh, surroundings, and the many other areas of our life that contribute to our health and wholeness. The IHH for Veteran program weaves together the best healing aspects through a whole health approach. The IHH for Veteran program participant guide assists participants to set a concise whole health goal, learn skills for whole health management, 
and understand the five keys for to success for creating new health habits with a focus on facilitating a weekly IHH peer support group. Uh, the guide engages per participants in a process to support a peer and a whole health goal and reaching that goal to increase self-management and independence. The IHH for Veteran program has four parts. Session one is the welcome and overview. So sessions two through six is designed like a workbook and presented in a group or a one-to-one -one setting. However, regardless of the presentation format, uh, there needs to be a discussion about how each health and resiliency factor uh, affects physical and behavioral health. This guide outlines several areas of health and resiliency and includes structured questions to assist in exploring each area of your lived experience. The guide includes uh, 10 whole health and resiliency factors, uh, five keys to success. Uh, the training is intended to teach the following whole health self-management skills engage in person-centered planning to identify strengths and supports in 10 science-based whole health and resiliency factors, and write a whole health and resiliency goal based on person-centered planning. Uh, the IHH for Veteran program will create positive outcomes for you. However, this cultural change requires a fundamental shift in addressing our well-being. Exploring this new approach needs to start with you. Veteran Support Session, Module 1, is a welcome and introduction. Uh, so, and there is the introduction, the 10 whole health and resiliency factors, a person-centered planning process, and five keys to success. Then we have Module 2, the science of stress. Uh, the stress response physiologically, uh, the relaxation response, and then we discuss uh, ways to cope with stress management. Uh, module three, we focus on improving your health, uh, discuss healthy eating and nutrition, and creating menu plans that a uh, patient can uh, uh, is willing to comply with. Two, physical activity, and three, uh, restful sleep, and things we can do to uh, prepare for sleep for a restful night's sleep. Uh, the power of human connection. Here we uh, discuss uh, our support network and the benefits of it, and also a service to others that, even though it may be a service to others, how as individuals we do benefit um, from participating and assisting others in different areas. Uh, module five is maintaining a positive attitude, optimizing uh, best on positive expectations and two cognitive skills to avoid negative thinking. Uh, module six, connecting with more than self. We talk about the importance of spiritual beliefs and practices, how that can be very uh, reassuring and assist in connecting and improving one's overall mental health. And uh, two, having a sense of meaning and purpose uh, to discover their uh, meaning and have some purpose in their life. Module seven is health screening. We talk about health risk, uh, some of the factors uh, they may have in their family history, two, uh, healthy screenings, just basically routine health screenings that uh, need to be done to be proactive. Um, and chronic diseases. Three, a shared decision making where we encourage a participant to uh, provide input into their uh, treatment plan. And four, health screening resources, just providing some resources for different areas of health screening. Uh, module eight, uh, key to su success one, where we review and prioritize, uh, two, setting a person-centered goal, three, applying the impact criteria. Uh, module nine, where we develop a weekly action plan, uh, the participant uh, 
and has input and makes suggestions that they are willing and willing to comply with. And two, a daily, weekly personal log for them to journal and write down any uh, challenges or concerns that it may have. Module 10, one-to-one -one peer support. So this is a support group. Like I said, we meet uh, once a week to discuss any challenges or uh, wins that a veteran may be having. And also, uh, to a peer support group. So this is a very interactive and supportive group uh, that veterans are encouraged to participate in. In summary, the IHH for Veteran program focuses on what matters most to us. It empowers veterans through mindful awareness and self-care, recognizing the fundamental importance of healthy nutrition, activity, sleep, relationships, surroundings, and the many other areas of our life that contribute to our health and wholeness. These are my references.